Hey guys, my name is Scoby. Today I'm going to be showing you the best OBS settings for your YouTube videos. Let's jump right into this. The first thing I want to do is come down here to the bottom right. And we're going to be opening up our settings and we're going to be going to the output tab on the left. You're going to change your output mode to advanced and we're ready to start editing our stuff. So by default, we're going to start up on the streaming tab. We're not looking for that currently right now. I'll make a video in the future on the best streaming settings and we're looking for recording. So what you want to do when you're in the recording tab is make sure your type is set to standard and we're ready to start editing our settings. So the first thing we're going to look at is the recording path. And this is where you can save your videos to wherever you want them to output to. So this is really up to you. You can click browse and save them. Right now, I'm currently happy where mine is, but that can really just depend on you. The next thing we're going to be looking at is the recording format. Now, I recommend keeping this on MP4, FLV, or MOV. MOV mainly if you're a Mac user and having some difficulties with MP4, and FLV only if you're having difficulties with MP4. For the most part, I'd recommend MP4 universally. It's the most universally used video format, as well as the most compatible with mostly all video editing software. So I'd recommend MP4. The next thing we're going to be looking at is the audio tracks, and you can check multiple of these if you want more audio tracks in your video file. I'm not going to go too much into this, but I've done some videos in the past where I've done how to separate your system sound so you can separate your mic, desktop audio, game audio, uh, Skype, Spotify, whatever, into different audio tracks. I'll leave a link in the top of the description to my OBS tutorials playlist. If you want to check that out, there's some good videos in there, and I think some of them will be helpful to any of you guys if you're watching this video. So the next thing we'll be looking at is the encoder, and I would recommend leaving this at x264. This is an important step. Um, if you are, if you are an NVIDIA user or an AMD user, you can use the other ones that are there for you. But I recommend x264 for the most part. Next thing we can do is rescale our output. Now this is only if you want to like scale it down so you're recording at 720p and playing at 1080. But I would recommend for the most part if your computer can handle it to leave it at 1080 just to give you that extra bit of quality. Now we're ready to move on to arguably the most important part of this and this is going to be our rate control and our bit rate. So rate control I leave at CBR but I recommend CBR or CRF. For the most part I'd say CBR gives you the most flexibility um, but that is really just a bit of trial and error. So I'd recommend just using CBR. The next thing we're going to be looking at is our bitrate, and this is arguably the most important thing for quality. Now, how do you know what bitrate to put in here? You see I have 16,000, but what the hell does that number mean? Well, YouTube thankfully has given us a nice handy little doc that's going to give us some examples or like target bitrates of what they would recommend for YouTube, depending on your quality settings and your actual frame rate settings. So say, for example, we're recording a 1080p for 30 frames a second. YouTube would recommend for SDR, 8 megabits per second, and HDR for 10 megabits per second. Now, what does SDR and HDR re really mean? It doesn't matter. It's high dynamic range for HDR, and that's, that's all you really need to know. But I would recommend if your computer can handle it to go for the higher range. Just be warned, this can be bigger file types, and it can be a bit more of a struggle on your PC. But also remember, these are recommended bit rates. So you can go a little bit higher or you can go a little bit lower, a little bit trial and error on what your PC can handle. And if you're going for 1080p, say for example, 60 frames, for SDR they recommend 12 megabits, and for HDR they recommend 15 megabits. So this is really a little bit of trial and error to see what works for your computer and see what your computer is able to handle. Like I said, I currently record at 16,000, just because I like it like that. And it's approximately 15 megabits per second is approximately 15,000. You can go down to the actual like, to finer details with that with the actual megabits per second but i recommend just keeping it to the thousand mark it's just a nice easy number and you're not fluting around so i'd recommend sticking to this doc i'll leave a link in the description down below it's just a good little resource to have because if in case you're struggling and you're not really sure what to put it at and finally at the bottom they recommend the audio bit rates which you can change in obs by going back into our thing we can go from recording to audio on the right hand side and we can change our audio bit rates of each of our track here now i just put mine at 320 but it's really up to you what you want to use for that uh, it won't make too much of a difference, but the higher bitrate can help a little bit in post. So you might have noticed so far I haven't showed you how to change your actual frame rate for your video. To do that, we're going to go down to our video tab on the left hand side, and we're going to change our frame rate right here. Now I personally use 60 frames, but this is like I said, trial and error to what your computer can handle, what your monitor refresh rate is at, whatever, whatever. So I'd recommend leaving this at 60 if you're able to, because it's just kind of 1080p 60 fps is coming close to the standard on youtube and if you're able to keep up with that you're just keeping your videos in check a little bit nicer so see what you're capable of and just keep it like that the downscale filter you can put it up to sharpen scale 32 samples i personally don't i don't see see a huge difference with this but you can it'll make your videos a little bit sharper so next thing we're going to be looking at is the audio tab and here you can change all your audio settings and your audio inputs so your desktop audio device is my currently set by default, which is just my system sound. But if you want to separate these with some internal audio channels, you can select multiple to select just picking up certain sounds. 
You can also change your mic input or multiple mic inputs. So right now I have my mic input here. And at the top, you're going to notice sample rate. Now, sample rate, we can change depending on your mic. And if you want to know how to check what sample rate your mic is recording at, you can come down here to the speakers at the bottom right of your windows. Go to recording devices. Go to recording. Select the microphone you're currently using. I have two mic inputs. One of them is my laptop mic and the other is my actual mic I'm recording with right now. You want to select the mic you're recording with. Go to properties. Go to advanced and it will tell you what it's recording at right here. So mine is recording at 44,100, which is right here, 44.1 kilohertz. And that's what you're going to want to set it to. It'll just make it nice and easy and more compatible. And all these things you do is just going to help out your recording a little bit more. Anyway, guys, that's the best OBS settings for YouTube. Like I said, this stock is going to be your saving grace and it's just going to give you a nice bit of information and a good starting point for what's going to work for you. I'd recommend testing this out, see how your computer handles it. If it starts to handle it bad, put it down a little bit. If you want to put it up, you can. But this is a nice baseline level of what you're aiming for. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. If you have any difficulties with this, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a comment if you need help and share it with your friends. I'm going to leave two videos on screen. The one on the left is going to be my most recent upload, and the one on the right is going to be one that YouTube most suggests that you will watch. So you should probably click it, because it's apparently for you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.